Hey, what's up? I'm back out here again. I found another dispersed campsite off the grid. And I'm walking right now the Pacific Crest Trail. It's right here at the trailhead. This spot is where people cross that are hiking from Mexico all the way up to Canada. Right here, which you would cross. Coming from Mexico, going to Canada. This is awesome. I hope I get to do that one day when I retire. Do that PCT trail uh, myself. There's the marker. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a sign in book. So, this is a book that people sign in when they made it here. I'm going to read some of these, see what they wrote. The last one said, Old lady just stretching her legs on April 15th. Get me a burger. 10% uh, PCT complete. Keep on going on. Chin up. That was uh, March 27th of this year. 1,000 miles PCT complete. Yeah. So there's more here. Um, it looks like it's a new book that just started for this year. So I'll leave this here. This is the wilderness area right here. Kiva Wilderness. I made it to my camping spot. I'm camped right here by the river. The river is just about 30 feet in front of me. I've got a tree right here overhanging my tailgate, so that's nice. I can set up some lights. I'm just going to make me some dinner right here on the tailgate, and then I'm going to go sit down there by the river and uh, relax, enjoy the sounds. So, see you soon. Another beautiful day, not much wind, very, very light breeze, perfect. All right, I'm back, I'm ready to fell my first tree. So I have it pointed in that direction because the one that I'm going to fell, the first one is that skinny one right in between these two uh, trees right here, right in the middle. It's pretty small, it has, doesn't have that many branches on it. All right, so let's get my safety gear on. Take off all my jewelry first, tuck in my shirt. Just right here.
All right, according to my estimate, if I follow the tree this way, it will, the tip of it will land right here in this X. It's about 36 feet long or tall. So I can either follow it this way, but it is leaning to the left. Now, if it falls to the left, I estimate it will reach here. which is very close to my hammock and my picnic area. So I may move this out of the way, just back it up because the tip may fall right here. All right, this is my first tree right here. Look at that, it's wobbly come down really easy. So I am very disappointed in this cut. I took a uh, square out instead of a wedge. So I'm just gonna try to clean it up the best I could by cutting this piece right here off and then cut halfway here up on, above it and then wedge it and uh, see what happens. I think it'll be all right though. But today is not going that well at all. I've got poachers stealing my logs behind me. That means they're trespassing to get back there. They're cutting up all the wood that's laying down, using it as firewood. And uh, my chainsaw won't run. And I've got to do this by hand. So hopefully this thing falls good. Now the only thing holding this on is this tongue right here for this fiber. So there's fiber down here and up here. So I'm trying to go above this line right here. So there's a little bit of fiber to help it fall. Here it goes. Timber! There it is, has <laughs> some fiber right there, see it? So it did hold together pretty good. This is a clean cut and it fell in the direction I wanted it to. And where's my X? Oh, my X is way back here. So it was shorter, which is good. I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. So much shorter than I thought, about one, two, three so about nine feet three times three nine feet short of my estimate that's good i'd rather underestimate there it is 15. not that hard actually with this don't need my chainsaw after all oh, this is pretty light This is pretty heavy. And then with all those branches over there, I'm gonna have to cut off all those branches in order to even turn it. <laughs> okay.
have to get really close to the uh, log. Back this thing up. All right, let's go scout out what other logs I can drag up there. So I want this piece. I think this one is uh, 14 foot long, so I need to drag this piece up there. And I might be able to get three pieces out of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I get three out of this right here. And you can see this log was cut up for firewood, which to me is a waste because we have plenty of firewood here with the logs that we cannot use why cut this up for firewood when there's a lot of you know worse pieces that we could use for firewood so they just basically wasted this piece for me so why don't they just use this one for firewood right here would have been nice but no they had to cut up a long good piece boy that really upsets me there's so many other logs they could have used but they cut up the good pieces this one right here I could probably fell. Look at that. It's just barely hanging on by a branch right there. So this one, I could even probably push it over or uh, pull it somehow. If I get the winch, put the winch around this tree to there because I have some pulleys to go around trees. Um, I could pull it this way uh, towards me and this one will fall. So I'll probably take this one too. Whatever I can get. But for now, let's turn the truck around, bring it down here, and get these pieces out of the way. And then cut this one. All right, let's get this stump out of the way first. Right. Not here. Okay. 
this wood does look nice on the inside. So hopefully I can use this. It has a little crack in it. I think I can still use it. Whew. All right. Thank you. I want to get this one last piece done after this and then go camp. But you see how slow the process is. Well, here's what I got done today. I fell my first tree. That's those two pieces right there. And then I cut and drug one, two, three, four more pieces. It is a little past five right now. It started raining on me. Not too bad, but it is cloudy. Guys, I am done for today. I uh, fell my first tree and I ended up doing it by hand with a saw because my chainsaw wouldn't work. And then I cut up uh, some more logs that were laying way over there. Uh, cut those in half of my uh, handsaw. Rug them over here with my winch. And that's all I could do today because it's starting to rain. And uh, I'm running out of daylight. So I'm going to go set up camp and make sure I didn't forget anything. Good thing I checked. is great because it's it's lightweight durable rainproof uh, great for the wind too and it has a bunch of anchors on it everywhere look at it it matches my tent perfectly there are hooks two hooks inside on the left and the right side that I, I was hanging my lights from they fit perfectly on the hooks uh, these anchor points right here so now all I have to do is get my paracord and my stakes and stake these down so I have it so that the long side is left and right I could change it if I want this to go all the way down to the floor so I love it look it uh, it just goes perfectly right here no rain will come in because the rain will drop from the outside uh, from there on top of it and roll down and I just have these anchors right here attached to the hooks one there and one there the middle one does not have one but I don't need one and then check it out I have an enclosed awning so I'm just gonna turn it real quick and see if uh, this goes lower to the ground by turning it the long way And it just looks seamless, like it's made for it. Alright, now I could uh, put my picnic chair in here when it rains and uh, stay up if I wanted to. Put a light, hang a light.
I could definitely smell that seasoning. I hope animals don't smell it. I smell it. That roasted uh, garlic and herb <laughs> that I put in there. It smells good. Not drinking real beer. Zero. Zero point zero percent alcohol. <clears throat> I don't drink when I'm when I'm out camping and working. If I'm at home, I have no place to go, then, then I'll have a real beer. But when I'm camping out here, feels like I'm having a real beer, but zero percent alcohol. And you're not supposed to drink if you carry so can't get in trouble this way look at that it's good to me this is really good like to cook where I sleep because I guarantee you animals can smell it <clears throat> bears mountain lions they have a long range of smell so if they're around here within a few miles they can smell it um, made an exception today because in case it rained I can go under there and cook turned out not to rain it's still cloudy it rained throughout the day while I was logging over there. So that's one reason why I cooked right here is because I thought it was going to rain and I put up my canopy just in case. But what I'm going to do <clears throat> to try to make up for that is I washed the dishes really good. I put the dishes away. I'm going to empty this water out way over there somewhere because this is where all the seasoning and stuff ended up. Another thing that I do is I use these buckets and inside here I like to zip, use Ziploc bags in addition to this Gamma Seal lid that keeps the air out. Um, so hopefully that will minimize the smell. So I tighten that up and I put this in the back of my cab. So hopefully between the Ziploc bags, the bucket, and hopefully the seal inside the cab, it will not attract the animals. Um, I also use this for my trash. Same thing, I put a trash uh, bag in it with a gamma lid, and I tighten it up every time, and this goes in the back of my cab too. And same thing with my cooler. So these are all going back there. Uh, everything in here, it's not as organized as when I left the house, but Everything is in its, in its proper container back here. Um, some of the lids are off, but this is all just equipment back here. And then what I'll do is I'll raise this back up, put that top down, and then everything will be enclosed. I just had soup and soy curls, so it was easy cleanup. I had two dishes to clean, and that's it. I like it like that. If I was down there by the lake with other people around or where I know there's no bears or anything, I'll grill. I could have had a campfire here, but I don't want to stay up and tend to it until it goes out. So that's one thing when you're by yourself. Probably not going to sit out here late until the fire goes out. So you got to think about that uh, when you're by yourself and if you want to fire for ambiance or just for warmth. I have the cab in my truck. I can just turn that on and warm up if I need to. That's as good as it's going to get if you are out here camping and eating uh, right next to your sleeping area. Grilling here by myself, I would do it somewhere else, like way over here somewhere, and then walk over here to go sleep. And it's easy to do because everything I have is portable. 
So there's a clearing over there. I'm going to empty it right in the middle of the of the road so that if animals do the, go there, I can see them. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. I finally got out of the sleeping bag. It is chilly this morning, it's 43 degrees right now. It probably dropped to 30 last night or even lower. Um, I'm in the truck warming up and warming up my clothes I'm gonna put on. I may take a hot shower out here again this morning then have some coffee, then I'll head back over to the property. Uh, slept like a zombie last night, I don't know what it is. It's peaceful out here, but I was in and out all night. shower in the woods. Hot, hot, hot shower. It's 8.30, uh, you know what I like to do is go scouting. Go scout out for another uh, dispersed campsite, off-grid campsite. Now that a lot of the uh, snow melted, there's more roads that are open. So yeah, I'm gonna go exploring, check out some of these back roads, see if there's another spot like this one. So far, this is my favorite spot. I love this right here. But for some reason, it's harder for me to sleep when it's totally quiet and no wind at all. Yeah, I was asleep and awake, sleep and awake. I don't think I really got to any type of REM sleep whatsoever. Uh, I do feel wide awake. So even if I didn't get that deep REM sleep, I got enough rest. There was uh, no sign of animals here last night. No tracks anywhere, so they just don't come around here unless you start a barbecue and you know make a meal for them. Leave trash, but this is pretty clean. I cleaned up some of it last time I was here. I see some foil over there. I'm going to clean up some more on the ground and. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty clean. So I'm going to wrap it up here and uh, go exploring before I get to uh, the site and start pulling some more logs.
on my property. All right, so see ya. Gotta take care of all my cuts that I've got. Got liquid bandage. I've got this uh, lotion that's supposed to leave a protective layer over your skin. It's called uh, gloves in a bottle. Second skin for hands. Shielding lotion. So I've been trying this. I haven't used it yet today, but I did use it last time I was here and it uh, seemed to work a lot better. And then I also have Neosporin to put on the cuts. So I'm going to put Neosporin on first and then cover it with liquid bandage. Liquid bandage and then put some uh, shielding lotion on it. This one right here stings and I don't know if it's a splinter or just a cut. That's a new one. Cut right there. That stings. Got one right there. And I've got my thumb here that's never going to heal because I keep hitting it. Just a reminder that I'm not wearing my gloves as much as I should be. And my skin's drying out too. All right, what you're looking at is the first tree I'm gonna take down today. It's a leaner. It's right there and it is leaning against that branch up there. That's the only thing keeping it up. So what I plan on doing is taking my uh, recovery gear, my tow rope, wrapping around this tree right here. I have a pulley that'll go around this tree. Then I'll park my truck over here behind it somewhere. And then I'll use my winch and start pulling it'll pull this tree over to the right just enough to clear that branch right there all right this is my plan it's going to pull it a little bit to the right and since it's going to go to the right it will create some slack on the line as it falls but i'll do it slowly and as it starts falling i will give it some, give it slack on the way down Damn it. It's not one tree, it's the other. Perfect. Perfect tree falling technique.
if I could. All right, let's see if I get my chainsaw going. See, this chainsaw is leaking a bunch of oil over here. I know it's supposed to give some oil to the chain, but it's just, it's losing all of the oil every time I put it in here. So that's a problem too, it might be related to it. log again and see if it breaks. Gotta be. It hurts now. Don't crack and split. Don't crack and split. Okay. Cut right there. See how clean this cut is. That's good to me. There you go. Good. Huh. Looks like I cut right through a knot anyway. But that's a clean cut right there. Whew. 
what's that like a couple minutes I'm actually running out of room because I'm blocking my road I'm gonna try to roll those other ones on top of the others and then uh, make room for these other ones there Gonna make me a sandwich with the uh, remainder of the bread. I got two slices left. Same thing I did yesterday. That log to uh, pull it down, cut it up, and bring it over here took two hours. <clears throat> because that stump took me an hour to do by itself, the, the larger end with that saw. But uh, so far, everything I've invested in, I have used, and it has worked out. Well, let me take that back. The chainsaw investment is not working out. But all of the other stuff, if one thing doesn't work, I have another option. Definitely need more than one solution to the same problem. So I'm glad I, I do have hand tools. Get out of here, fly. These big flies have been biting me. After bee. So far 17 logs, but I need more, so let's go look for another tree. Okay, the next tree I see is right here. It's not that far down there, so it won't take me as long to drag. In order to pull this one down, see it's just resting against that branch right there. There's two of them, so there's two right next to each other. Actually three if you count that one on the right. There's a lot in there. Uh, those are the size that I need right there. So I'm going to pull it this way, make it fall down this way. All right, so I'm just using my shower curtain rod that I made right here. And the first thing you do is you put up to your eye where you're going to be measuring uh, like this. Make sure your arm's perfectly straight all the way down, and then you grab it like that. And then you just line your... Uh, knuckle right here, your thumb up with the bottom of the tree, and then back up until this right here goes to the top of the tree. So we're going to move back or forward depending on the size, but just line this up at the bottom, line it up at the top, and then we'll see where it's going to fall.
Well, I hope the piece did not crack in the middle. It sounded like it cracked. See, it didn't go the way I planned uh, because it pulled the bottom out instead of the top. I probably should have had it higher uh, up towards the middle of the tree. So you can see it cracked on one side right there when it fell. I don't know how far down it goes, but I'm gonna try salvages anyway. Buddy. All right, two more cuts and then dragging this up there and I'm done for today. All right, I'm just gonna do a video to show you what I've got done. And uh, just for the record, my inventory, in case somebody decides to come on here and trespass, I have got one, two, three, four logs here, stacked underneath this, these trees in the shade. Then I've got <clears throat> two right there. And then, well, let me just count them, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one logs. All stacked right here together. I have a private property sign right there, which is hard to see now because it's down there. All right. Well, I am done for this weekend. Uh, I'll be back hopefully next weekend, and hopefully all of this will still be here. I've got uh, more trees down here that I'm going to pull down next weekend and pull up here so the plan is to just get all the logs here first and then strip them because it takes a while to strip them too and uh, I might run out of logs so I need to make sure I grab those logs that I, that I uh, see right now before they're gone so I'm out of here until uh, next weekend stay healthy stay safe just keep prepping